Hey, hi, Lisa Marie here. Oh my goodness. Uh, the last couple weeks have just been crazy with um, trying to find a job and doing interviews and ah, it's so exciting to see um, how God's been working and providing and just doing different things for me. So, in all of this stuff that I've been doing, there have been a couple of things that have happened that I thought, hmm, I cannot be the only one that this has happened to and it is coming. It will happen to you. So, I thought I would share with you my opinion and my experience of things that have been happening that have kind of caused a little bit of anger, uh, maybe even a little bit of bitterness and even some resentment. Um, hey, I have worked really super hard and I have followed what my doctor said and I'm pretty happy with how I look and my weight and everything. But I didn't realize that my old me, my fat brain, maybe it's the bully, I don't know, um, really had some things kind of held inside and not really addressed until something happened. So walking along in the store, doing my thing, happened to be reaching up kind of, it really wasn't, it was like this high. It really wasn't a struggle. I wasn't on my tippy toes. I wasn't reaching way up like this. I was just reaching about this high on a shelf. And a young guy, a store clerk came and big old beanie grin and was like, oh, can I help you reach something? And I was like, oh no, thank you, I've got it. And he walked away and it hit me. Oh my gosh, I really wasn't struggling, so why was he asking if he could help me? Why was he being so polite? Um, I kinda let it go, it wasn't really, you know, plaguing me of anything. Then I went to another store and I wasn't reaching at all. It was just something like this and I was getting, getting ready to come around a corner and my cart was doing like a, it was heavy. I had water and um, um, the vitamin things and stuff like that, so they were heavy. And again, another young fella said, oh hey, I, you know, can I help you with that? Would you like me to take that out for you? And I was like, no, I, I think I'm okay, thanks. Besides that, I need to work on my muscles. You know, and haha, -ha, we laughed and thank you anyway, he went away. I'm getting to my car and I'm thinking, huh, okay, when I was fat, 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 and was actually struggling with these things, hardly anybody asked me if they could help me, and I actually needed the help then. Hurt back, hurt knees, hurt everything. I, I really could have used the offer. I asked people if I really needed help, but I could have used the offer. So. I decided to go to a, um, what do you call it, a support group. And I am now at the support group that I've been to a couple of times and it's awesome. If you have the opportunity to go to an in live, person, 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 support group, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Oh my gosh, you do it, you need to do it. Anyway, I go to the building that I went to the first time I went there and uh, there was a security guy there, a young guy, and I apparently was in the wrong building. And instead of just doing like I'm sure he would have normally said, oh, we well, just go out here and go across the way to the green building. No, guess what he did? Super awesome and super nice, but it hit me afterwards. He literally walked me all the way through the lobby, out the doors, under the little drive-through porchy thing, over to the side where the sidewalk was, uh, really we were like halfway there now, to the next building. And then there it is, there's the next building. Of course, polite, you know, I was very appreciative, thank you very much, uh, whatever. But as I was turning to kind of keep going away from him, I could see out of my peripheral vision, he was still standing there. <laughs> he was still standing there and he was watching me walk away. Ah! So, I get all the way over to the other building and now 
This is the third thing in a day. The third in like two hours. This is the third thing. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. What the heck? When and I get it, when women are pregnant, um, I remember people offering help and doing things like that and helping me that way, and that's amazing and awesome. But what do they do after you have the baby? You have a baby seat in one hand, and you have your purse in the other, and you have the diaper bag on you, and you have stuff going on. Nobody offers to help. Hardly anybody offers to help. When I was really heavy and overweight and struggling with different things, I really don't think I had very many people offer to help me with things. And it's unfortunate and it's sad because unless you're kind of brave like me sometimes and I would ask for help if I needed it um, most of us suffer in silence and keep that all in and and possibly are holding on to some anger or bitterness or even resentment at the way people are treating us or not treating us so I wanted to warn you that after your weight loss surgery you are gonna lose weight and it's gonna start coming off and people are gonna start noticing and you may even have creepers like I've had creepers uh, that follow you in the store and give you compliments <laughs> sometimes inappropriate compliments but they give you compliments and if I can share anything is to warn you to be ready for that be ready for that to have a response that you know truly they're being helpful and they're being nice and they're being polite and they're being considerate and maybe they're being attracted um, and that's all good things that's what God created for us to have these feelings and stuff happen however if you've been bottling a bunch of stuff inside and you haven't addressed with it as a fat you when the skinny you comes out and st that starts happening to you you may find that it triggers different things and it could trigger resentment it could trigger bitterness it could even trigger anger and I don't want you lashing out at somebody and saying something that would hurt their heart and hurt their spirit when they were really just trying to be helpful and friendly and maybe if we would take that uh, offer of assistance and that um, watching you walk um, as a compliment then if it should boost your self-esteem and it should boost your self-confidence not crash you down and not make you angry and not make you bitter and definitely not resent it so um, it's what's happens and it's true and it's reality and and it just kind of popped in at me uh, uh, like thankfully thank you Lord that it did not happen in front of them or to them but it did happen and um, I did think it in my head and I kind of had to work through it and process through it and realize they were just being helpful and maybe I just didn't notice before that that person in particular like me I love helping people and I don't see color I don't see race and I don't see size I treat everybody the same and maybe that uh, employee that security guy that whatever uh, with other people they do the same thing too but it just happened to hit me a little odd um, that that happened and I was a little shocked and surprised that my heart had this anger and this bitterness and even a little bit of resentment towards why didn't people treat me like that before um, so I don't want you to be that way I don't want you to feel that anger and that frustration so plan now plan now because I'm telling you you are gonna have people follow you in a store you're gonna have people back up and come back and watch you walk they're gonna watch you walk and you're gonna have people offer to give you help and assistance in ways that maybe aren't necessary um, but it's a positive thing so if we can just say thank you and be very appreciative for it and um, encourage them to help you know the next person that needs the assistance um, I think we'll all be really good and that'll help us together for ourselves and for them okay
Um, again, I can see that y'all are there and I can see comments, but I can't see them. So I promise I will look at them right now and I'll answer them. And it's so good to see ya. And still keep praying for me. I'm still job searching and I'm doing lots and lots of interviews and I feel really good about several. So I'm just praying that God opens the doors to the right one for me. Okay? Have a great afternoon. I'll see you later. Bye!